your hope is the creator of all your productivity. All your productivity is hidden in your hope. Expectation is the wisdom for your endurance. Expectation is the wisdom for your endurance. You can't even be excellent without expectation. Expectation perfects your excellence. It takes your excellence to another level. So you got to protect your hope in a moment. Don't let nothing access your hope. Your hope should always be purified daily. Every single day, there's another hope that Jesus has scheduled for you. And every day you have to go to Jesus to receive that beacon of hope, that mantle of hope. And when you wear it, you wear that hope. You put it on and you let nothing strip you of that hope. That hope has to stay strong on you. And you have to be the guardian of your hope. Sadness enjoys your pitfalls. Sadness loves to see your foolishness. Sadness is a cheerleader of your flaws. Sadness is a booster of your curiosities, toxic curiosity. Uh, there's a curiosity that can be good. Well, let me say this. Hunger is better than curiosity. According to the biblical wisdom, Hunger is better than curiosity. Discernment is better than intuition. And thirst is wiser than anxiety. You can write those wisdom doors down. <laughs> it's in my mind. It's in my mind. It's in my mind. I have a beautiful mind, mind. in my mind, mind. Thirst is better, is wiser than anxiety. Hunger is better than curiosity. Passion is wiser than encouragement. You taking notes right there, down. ain't that amazing? Passion is wiser than encouragement because when you don't have passion, you have to keep on being encouraged to create the passion. When you don't have passion, you have to keep on being motivated by someone else so that they can develop it for you. But if you have it, it's already there. See, saints, I, I, my, um, my assignment with the Lord I built my own passion, you know. So whether whoever come and goes, like I don't change with Jesus. It don't matter who comes and goes, like I'm still the same. None of y'all follow me. Like if you follow me for years, you'll see like I I don't change in the consistency I have. I don't change in my wisdom. My wisdom change. I go to the next level. Come on, big, big squirrel. I don't change in the in the consist. Well, my consistency changes. It gets more intense, but as far as like my functionality towards the Lord, I never change my vows. You understand? I never change my vows. So I don't wait on people. <laughs> you know, I've seen so much stuff in life. I, I know 
I know that many are called, few are chosen. But I don't get mad at people that choose not to receive. I have too many receivers in my life to get mad at those that don't receive. You never focus on those that don't receive you. You don't invest your focus on those that don't receive you. You focus on those that do receive you. And if you don't think anybody do receive you, God receive you. So you focus on God. <laughs> when you invest focus on a fool, you create your own drain, your own strain, your own little Wayne. <laughs> Straight up off the Brizzy. I'm a bona fide hustler. How many of y'all share this broadcast? You need to share the broadcast. Uh, some of y'all got Suzanne Boyle spirit. You need to share this broadcast. Cause I got drip for sale. <laughs> got drip for sale. War is a pathway to your own peace, to your own wholeness. You have to walk through the passage of war to get to wholeness. Because even the Bible say the flesh warth against the spirit. So you have to go through a war to possess your wholeness. Your wholeness is connected to the war that you win. So you have to go through a war. You have to win the war of your mind. Your mind is always adversarial to what the spirit is saying. That's why you got to cast down imaginations. Vain imaginations create the stagnation between you and God. 